I'm Joni Polina, and I'm one of the founding members of the St. Croix River Valley Holistic Practitioners. We're here today talking with Denise Gunderson. And Denise is the founder, owner, and director of Healing Waters Health Center in Hudson, Wisconsin. Welcome, Denise. Thank you, Joni. It's a pleasure to be here and to share with the viewing audience a little bit about alternative medicine, alternative holistic medicine, and that is happening right here in your Saint, own St. Croix Valley. It's amazing how many practitioners are truly here. Sure. So, you know, when I, when I talk about alternative, um, people sometimes wonder what, what does that actually mean? Sure. So, alternative is something other than what we're currently doing. Currently, a lot of us are seeking medical help and we should be seeking that medical help. But just to let people know that there are other things that can complement. Yes, absolutely. And you know, it's kind of funny because I do know that when I talk with people too, um, about the kinds of things that I do, people get a little bit scared about what alternative or complementary or other kinds of medical practices people are doing, when in fact, it's really not about other medical practices. Right. It's really about our own health, is it not? Absolutely, and it's not about something outside of us. That's the beautiful thing. It's right within us. So we're tapping into that that we already know, something that is really innately in us, but we weren't taught or trained on how to tap into it. So I love being part of this holistic practitioners group. It is such a joy to meet other people that that understand and aren't afraid of it. You know, so that's part of what we're doing, isn't it? It's about educating Absolutely. and sharing with people truly that they don't have to be frightened, that it isn't don't take your medicines. It is we're going to help you move beyond and, and assist you with that energy that you truly have within you. Bring that forth to assist you on your medical journey, not in place of it just really is a, a complementary piece. And Good. holistic, you know, the holistic piece is body, mind, spirit, soul. So isn't that what we truly are? You know, we are a body, we are a mind, we are a spirit, and we have a soul. So without those pieces, we wouldn't function on the planet like we do. Without a body, you know, what would we be? A spirit, maybe. <laughs> who really knows. Mm -hmm. And without our mind, our body wouldn't function like it does. Mm -hmm. And without um, body, mm -hmm. mind, spirit, without our spirit, I think we'd be an empty shell. I'm not sure, but I think that's, <laughs> that's my perception. Sure. So we're bringing that into balance, always bringing that into balance, the body, the mind, the spirit. And so with the, with the center, um, that's, that's our goal, is when people walk in the front door, it's about taking care of their whole being not just taking a band-aid and putting it over a sore, but to actually go in and clean out that sore a little bit and do it in a gentle, loving, caring way so there, there isn't any um, trauma Marvelous. involved in it. Good, 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 good. Well, you brought up the whole center, and I want to make sure I get it right, Healing Waters Health Center yep. in Hudson. Would you give us a little bit of your background, your history, how you came up with this? Sure. Um, kind of the basic information that would really help people understand what's going on there. Sure, I'd love to. I, you know, for years thought I would have a retreat center. Oh. It was just something that was in the back of my mind. Oh, I thought a retreat center, but my picture of it was certainly different than what the whole the health center is. Okay. It was, oh, I thought it would be some sort of beautiful retreat out in the country where people could come and just chill and get connected with themselves, with nature, and so that I thought that during my raising children that that would be really something I would want to do when my children were no longer in ho at home. Okay. So that never happened. Oh. It just never happened. Well, it was amazing to me because I was downtown Hudson enjoying my space. I had three lovely rooms that I was practicing Qigong out of and I had no desire to really move until last December while in meditation I heard in my, my meditation that I would not be in the building I was in at the end of the first quarter of 2011. Now I had no idea where I was going, what I was going to do, or what it was going to look like. And as God has it, I was drawn to this building. Then the building I didn't I knew existed, but I didn't know if it was available. I didn't know who owned it. I knew nothing. 
I went and I contacted the landlord and sure enough it was available and they are so gracious in allowing us to grow into this amazing space. We have 9,500 okay. square feet. Okay, and wow. It, it, it really is wow. bigger than what I would have ever <laughs> planned. I was happy in my three little rooms. Okay. And so um, the, the center houses um, quite a few of us. Okay, marvelous. Well, first of all, why don't you give us a little idea about where in Hudson you are, just so it gives us a little picture. Yeah, if you come in on 94 and you go up to the third exit, it's um, Highway 35 South towards River Falls, and then take the first exit, Hanley, we're right up there in the industrial park. It's a okay. beautiful little area. It doesn't look like it's going to be a place for a health center, but once you drive back in there, our view is spectacular. It's just a beautiful little view. Um, so we're up in the industrial park up in Hudson. All right, good, good. Well, um, you've moved then from just being your own individual practice to including kind of a bigger, broader bunch of holistic practitioners. Is that right? It is. You know, I, I just would have never thought that this is what I was going to do. Okay. So in three short months, we moved. And since then, which is only a few months back now, uh, we have five practitioners in the space and we're growing. We have room for three more um, mm -hmm. for full time. Okay. And uh, we have a yoga studio. We have um, the, one of the practitioners is uh, Paula Simpson, who does water massage in our 92 degree salt water therapeutic pool. Oh, how nice. It is out of this world. Cool. It, really, somebody needs to experience that one because it, it, it really is a, a treat to have that, that therapy done. Okay. And then we have um, Deb Sagaser, who does reflexology. Reflexology is a method of working with the feet, pressure points. Um, uh, meridian points on the feet, uh, assisting in, in clearing the channels throughout the whole body and healing the whole body, relieving pain and um, all kinds of interesting things. They can go on the website and check out that more as well. Then we have um, Michelle Heisler, who is a life coach and also a business consultant. Amazing woman, um, so full of life and, and enjoyable to, to work with. She has tools that, gosh, you know, I'm, I'm not a very system person. I go, <laughs> kind of go with the flow. And she has, she's the first person that has been able to contain me a little bit and go, it's this direction. So without her, my business wouldn't be flourishing like it is. It, okay. it really has been a great, um, great pleasure working with her. Nancy Lawton Shirley, who is a cranial sacral therapist, and that is working with the cranial sacral, the head, and, and shifting, moving um, the, the structure of the, the bones to allow the brain to function a little bit better. And her work is incredible. I w get to witness a lot of children come in and, and get uh, the cranial sacral work done, especially right after birth. Um, it, it helps with um, opening up the, the uh, cranial for after birth, you know, we, mm -hmm. we all go through bones. a little, yeah, cranial yeah. bones. We kind of go through a little trauma there, don't we? That's right. Uh, and then, of course, um, there's me, and I do Qigong, um, both one-on-one -on -one sessions, and then I also teach um, Spring Forest Qigong at the center as well. And that's in group sessions is what that's you're talking about. Yep. Okay. Yep. So there are a little bit of both, individual work as well as group work, and on dry land as well as in the pool. Yeah. And, and yeah. Um, infants as well as adults, so it's really becoming a comprehensive one-stop, huh? It, well, where our goal is is to take care of the whole being when they walk in, whether that is infant or 90 years old. You know, we have a wide variety of clientele who come in. We've got um, clergy, we have, you know, nuns, we have homeless people, we have, we have the gamut. We really wow. do, and it's a pleasure to meet and to work with each and every person that, that comes in through the door. We also have um, a conference room, we call it the Lotus Conference Room, and that is available for people that are looking for space to hold a meeting of some sort. Um, it, it is very reasonable and holds oh, probably 35 to 50 people is what Ooh. that room can hold. So okay. we, we really are um, holding a space that is serving a number of people. And bringing the community in is what we you're are, saying, too. We really want to bring the community in and, okay. and let them know that there's a safe place mm -hmm. to be wherever you're at. We, we meet you where you're at and take you where you want to go. 
Ah, like that. Yeah. Very yeah. good. Okay. Yeah. Very we have good. good vibrations over there. That, that's our <laughs> that's our thing that we've been talking about. It's like come and feel the good vibrations because it just people walk in and it's like wow, super. You might have to get the recording of the song, you know. Yeah, you just we were talking about that. We have an open house coming up October <laughs> oh, good. 8th. Oh, good. And, and so we were talking about playing good vibrations yeah. throughout that. That would be kind of fun. Good. Well, I just I want to point to one other little thing that I know about you because um, I know you've been doing this kind of work since about the 80s, sometime in the 80s. So I view you as a pioneer because I have only been doing the work for about nine years, and you've been into it for probably 30 now. Is that right? Yeah, 30, 35. Oh, my goodness, Denise. Yeah. Yeah. That's rather amazing to me as well, and you've kind of, I call it, blazed the trail for the rest of us who have kind of come along and used your trail to follow behind and then help to branch out into what we're doing here today, yeah. which is to inform everybody, at least in the valley, but we're hoping it'll go much further, of course, on what we can do to help ourselves stay well. Exactly. Ex I think it's so important to put that out there when we talk about holistic kinds of things. We're actually having people look for what's going well with them. If we're looking for sickness or illness, we're going to find it. Absolutely. I agree. I agree. And we're, so we really want to promote this part of our work to the public, our work to each other. And the more healthy each one of us stays, the better the world is. Is that not right? That is so true. And, you know, I really am an advocate of do what you say. or What, what, what are those words? Um, walk your talk. Yes. Yeah, Absolutely. I, I really am an advocate of that. You know, I started meditating, like you said, when I was 21 years old, okay. which is a long time ago now, but it really has been the foundation of my practices and who I am. It, you know, people oftentimes approach me and say, you know, you're just so calm. <laughs> And truly, it is my practice. You yes. know, I've, I've had experiences that go beyond what I would think my mind could comprehend. Oh. And it, it is through the meditation that has gotten me to those places where I can clearly think rather than, you know, react. So that's, that's part of my personal part of the mm -hmm. journey. And, and thank you for the acknowledgement of the pioneer because you said that to me a number of years ago and it touched my heart because mm -hmm. I really do feel as though I, I did do some trailblazing for, for this and I'm so proud of you for bringing together the holistic practitioners oh. that we, we, really, um, we really are an amazing group of people who are here truly to serve. And yeah. it, it feels amazing to, to have that connection, as, as you know. As I know, as it's so much fun, and I don't know who it was exactly, but as one of our members said, oh my gosh, when I come to that meeting, it's feel, I feel like I've been to a half a day of camp. Yeah. You know, we all walk out thinking, oh my gosh, I, are my feet moving or am I just floating on the clouds? <laughs> we feel so good about that. So I think in that way, we certainly serve each other as well, just absolutely. by being of like minds to yep. some extent. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Well, I'm so excited. You're across the river, and, and you know, our whole holistic practitioners group services both sides of the river. So we're, I don't know, uh, is it Prescott to Osceola and Taylor's Falls to Hastings, pretty yeah. much. Yes. We have practitioners who are involved in our website um, and in our group. And um, that is actually what we're kind of doing here too. We're, we're promoting certainly people knowing about what we do, how we do it, um, but also wanting them to understand how easy, how simple, how non-threatening all of this is. So if I were to say to you, what message would you like to leave with everyone today? Wow, you know, I, I was supposed to prepare that. Oh. And my mind just went to, you know, it really is all about love. The, the unconditional love of whatever your belief system is, that unconditional love is our source, and that's really who we are. Mm -hmm. So we are these love beings walking around the planet. And when we allow other things to get in that way, we don't feel our very best. We aren't performing our very best. And sometimes we don't even like ourselves in those moments, don't we? Mm -hmm. when, when we aren't in that love. So I just encourage people to really soul search and find that peace within them of what, what would love do right now, you know? What would, what would I do if I really was in love with, with self first? You know, we're, we're taught that that's selfish. Mm -hmm. I think we're, I want to change that to self-kind. Mm. Change the, the verbiage from self-ish 
to self-kind mm -hmm. and start being more self-kind, taking care of self because when your bucket's empty and you keep giving, you're giving stuff that nobody really wants. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> but if you, get, if you fill yourself up and you're giving from that love place, boy, everybody wants a piece of that. You're right. So that, I think that, that is my message of, of come from that love source. Cool. That's really who you are. Absolutely. Well, thanks so much for being here today, giving us some information about the center, not only the center, but just about how you operate and how we operate in the group, but also the best way that we could operate on this planet. Is yeah. that not right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, something that just crosses my mind too is, is to invite other practitioners who are like-minded and they're looking for the community. We do have the community here. So come on, join us. It, we're having a good time. Good. Thanks for putting that plug in. I yeah. appreciate that very much. Good. Well, to pick up more information about practitioners, services offered, all those kinds of things, you can certainly find more information on our website, which is www.rivervalleyholistic.com. We have a big fund of knowledge there and things that you can tap into. Everyone is really open to a phone call or an email. So if you have questions, please feel free to check them out, to contact people, uh, find out about what they're doing and how they're doing it. And if you want to know more about us as a group and uh, as a whole, stay tuned. We will be featuring other practitioners in times to come. So come back, check us out, and join us. Thanks. <laughs>